didn't have Dr. Barry, that's for sure. <laughs> Dr. Barry assigns a lot of homework, though, so I was feeling a little guilty as I was watching that film. Um, it's interesting, the, the film is interesting to me um, because even in sort of um, critiquing the fact that our educational system is reactionary, it sort of goes about comparing us to other countries, right? So that we're not doing as well as Finland and, and they at the same time sort of critique the fact that we're behind China for some reason. Um, and I think one of the things that we need to do is we need to figure out what we want education to be. What's the point of it? And I, ha I heard the H word a lot in that film, happy. What does it mean to be happy? Um, and I think that that's the whole point of education. I think that's actually sort of what we should be doing is getting students excited about the stuff that they do for school, even if it means doing it at home. Um, so that I'm not sure why in that film reading seemed to be this really rough thing that everybody didn't want to do. They'd rather score skateboard than read. Um, and I think it's partly because we named it homework. Right? Instead of sort of home fun, that in fact, perhaps the learning itself and, and, the, and the opportunity to do that might be a real privilege and an honor and exciting in and of itself if you're able to take what you're learning, apply it to your own life, and do creative things with it. Right? If you're memorizing something that someone's telling you to memorize and spitting it back out in the precise way they want you to spit it back out, I don't think that's going to inspire anybody. The teachers included. I can't stand teaching that way. But if we instead decide that part of the goal of education is to empower students to really pursue happiness, happiness in learning, happiness in school, happiness at home, happiness everywhere, so they can take stuff and learn it and have fun with it now and in the future, I think that that is, a, is something that we could do. And it doesn't matter if Finland's doing that. It, does, it, need, it needs to, instead of being reactionary, we need to think about what we want our educational system to be. One of the great things about democracy is that it was a creative maneuver, right? It was this very innovative thing in the late 18th century. And in the early 1900s, a guy by the name of John Dewey said that the whole point of, of, of education should be that we are educating future citizens to be creative thinkers in a democracy because we all partake in the problem solving of society. That's what's cool about democracy. If we have a bunch of kids who all they can do is memorize what someone else wants them to know, they can't begin to think creatively. They can't begin to be full participants in democracy. And I think we should listen to John Dewey from 1902 and begin to think about the fact that we should be structuring our school our education, not in terms of what another country is doing, but rather who we want to be as a society and most fundamentally as a democracy. Um, and I think the answer would, of course, be that we want creativity, we want enthusiasm, we want people who can access information, make sense of it, analyze it, share it with one another, work in a team to figure out how best to solve problems. I mean, that's really what this is about. That's what this is about. If you go work for corporate America, it's what it's about. If you go to journalism, it's what it's about. If you just go to the, the, the polling booth and vote, right? You've got to be able to problem solve and think creatively about stuff and enjoy working in groups, even if you don't agree with the people you're working with. So it seems to me like that's what we need to figure out what we want education to be. The thing I don't love about the film Sorry, I hate to be overly critical, but it sort of was doomsday to me. And I don't recognize that. Now, I'm fortunate because I work at a school where I have all the freedom in the world. And yes, I have to teach AP, and yes, I hate it. I really, truly hate it. It's a very, I live here, Larson. Um, it's true. It, just because of that, right? We gotta go, 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 go. We gotta go. We gotta go. That's what I'm always saying. We gotta go. Stop talking, stop thinking, stop having fun, stop debating, and we have to go. Um, so I don't love AP, but I work at a school where my evaluation is not necessarily based on the test scores that I'm getting on those AP exams or that my students are getting on those AP exams. So there's a great deal of freedom in working at an independent school. Um, and we get to do interesting and creative things. And so I react a little bit weird to that because I think my daily life, for the most part, I'm not saying our kids are a little bit stressed out sometimes, but my daily reality is that I do a really cool something in the audience, really cool, dynamic, brilliant kids who are thirsty to think creatively, to work together, and they, they, they want to learn. It's not, like, it's not like learning is a chore for them. Um, and so I think that's what we have to figure out how to do, is to continue to cultivate that and then give them the skills so that they can go out and be really dynamic, amazing contributors to our society and especially our democracy.